Hi everyone, super excited to introduce the AI Einblick Prompt Jupyter Lab extension, uh, which is very easy to install. You can either use the extension tab here in Jupyter Lab to find it and install it, or you can also pip install it. Um, once it's installed, very easy to use, you know, in a new cell, for example, I can either use the Einblick Prompt button here to open it up. Uh, there's also a keyboard shortcut, Command K to open up the prompt box here. Uh, and then I can type in uh, my prompt that I want the AI to help me with. Um, so here I want to filter this data set to Sacramento and plot it as an Altair scatter plot. Uh, I can run this here. Uh, and then once this comes back, uh, I can execute the code. Uh, and, you know, here it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Um, I can also, you know, instead of generating new code, I can modify existing cells as well. So maybe I want to say I want to also add Boston, rerun this. Uh, and then hopefully it will add another filter um, statement here to include Boston here, rerun it, uh, and that's exactly what it does. Um, and uh, yeah, that's sort of the gist of it. Uh, it also helps you with uh, fixing issues in code. So here I have an example where I'm loading some, <clears throat> some data. I want to parse this to an int column, this flow column, uh, but it gives me a long error message here. Uh, so instead of me having to figure out how to fix this, uh, I can open it up and say, please fix this for me, run it. Uh, and then it should, uh, you know, take your existing code plus the error message and try to figure out um, what it should help you with. Uh, and it did that perfectly here in this case. Um, one thing I want to point out is that um, there's uh, one of the advantage of the Einblick prompt engine is that it has deep contextual understanding about what you're working on. Um, so just to go back to this initial example, you know, we set something like um, filter to Sacramento and plot as an Altair scatter plot. Uh, it didn't realize which data frame we were talking about or that Sacramento needs to be converted into SAC because we're using team abbreviations here. Uh, but since we do include a lot of deep contextual information about what you're working on, uh, it will generally do a really good job with even these kind of more uh, ambiguous and open-ended questions.